Hello you all, welcome to the channel. This is Aastha. I hope you all are doing great. And guys, in this video, we're going to see Wipro's interview procedure, Wipro's hiring procedure. Why? Because as you all can see, we have guests on our channel. His name is Sakit, one of our subscriber, and recently he got selected with Wipro company. So first of all, congratulations, Sakit, for your achievement. Thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, thank you so much that you came on our channel and you're sharing your experience with us. The main motive to create this video and share with all my audience is only that I want all my subscribers to learn all the tips that will be going to be helpful for them to crack any MNC company, right? That's why I'm sharing interviews from all the companies. So guys, in this video also, we'll discuss each and every part about the Bipro hiring process from Sakir, all his interview experience, interview questions, his preparation tips, all the details. This video is going to be very informative. Do watch the video till the end. Okay. Let's start the video. Uh, Sakit, please give us your brief introduction. Uh, so he hello to all of you. Uh, my name is Sakit and I have uh, done my B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering from Chandigarh University, 2021 batch. And uh, I've done my six month summer internship from in Bajaj Auto in their intercity business unit service department from January to July. And recently I got placed in Wipro as a project engineer. Okay, great. Yes. Project engineer, you got a placement with Wipro company. So I just want to know when you give the uh, written examination for this Wipro hiring. Uh, Ma'am, I have uh, given the test and all, or uh, uh, I have received the mail on 10th of January. Uh, so yeah, I have cleared the examination on the 10th of January itself. Okay, great, great. So when you were having your interview scheduled? Uh, 2nd of February. Uh, interview scheduled, ma'am, like it was in 10th January. 10th January. Okay, so uh, first we'll discuss about the interview experience, like which type of questions they ask you on all those details. Then uh, in last, we're going to discuss about the exam pattern as well. Okay, so please okay. start with your interview experience. Okay, ma'am, so the uh, the interview starts with like, uh, like tell me about some, something about yourself. And uh, next next after that interview will ask me about some basic technical questions. Like what is the difference between C++ and C? What is operator overloading, function overloading? Uh, what are the polymorphism and all its sub branches like, like runtime polymorphism or compile time? Uh, she asked about all this. And the next, the next question that she asked is you are from mechanical background and uh, you are applying for this uh, IT job. So why was you applying in this IT job? What was your main goal? Uh, what was your reason for applying in this job? So next, uh, so the, the third question that she asked me about my projects uh, in college, uh, she asked me about one of my project in college and she wants me to explain that. So yeah, this was the basic uh, interview questions. Okay. So uh, guys, as I told you every time, if you belong to any CSIT branch, right, the interviewer for sure, whether you're going uh, for interview with Infosys company, Wipro, Accenture, any company, they're going to ask you why you want to switch to IT sector. Right? Because yes. it belongs to some non-IT branches and you are leaving that branch and coming to IT sector. So you have to be ready with that answer. Whether you're going for any company, any company, any IT company, we're going to ask you this question. So be ready with that because to Saket also, they ask the same question. Okay. So Saket, you are managing to answer all the questions, right? Right. Yes. Okay. You were prepared for the interview. Okay. So uh, how was your experience? Like if you want to share any tips for all my candidates who belong to non-CS IT branches, those are preparing for Vipro company or any good MNC company and those belong to mechanical branch. Uh, any tips you want to share for them with them? Okay. Ma'am, the strategy which I adopted for clearing this Vipro test is very simple. Uh, to clear the online test, you should be like able to uh, have some good knowledge in aptitude and logical reasoning and you have to just solve two coding questions. Okay. So that was for the written test and uh, talking about the interview, I've taken the help of uh, two things. First one is interview bit. And second one is your YouTube channel. So with the help of both these resources, I was able to uh, figure out what was the question, what I'm going to face in the interview. So I, I study all those questions and uh, it was pretty easy for me to answer those questions. Great, great. Uh, I, when I came to hear this thing that you got help from my channel, guys, that, that really gave me a, a great feeling because I'm doing all my hard work just to help you people, right? I'm trying to share all the interview questions with you guys. So that's great. So, uh, so I just want a brief explanation about the examination, like what was the pattern and which topics should be uh, more difficult or anything like that you feel in the examination? Uh, means are you talking about the online test? Online Chai test, given? online test of it, right. Okay, ma'am, the online test was, uh, to be honest, it was very simple. Uh, the, it was very basic uh, aptitude questions, which was most focused on permutation combinations and uh, height and distance and basic aptitude questions. 
and uh, for the coding round there was two questions and both the two questions are little bit lengthy uh, like there was length wise they are uh, lengthy but conceptual wise they are easy so anyone who has some basic knowledge of programming will be able to solve those questions okay in that case uh, you belong to mechanical branch so according to you the question the level was not difficult not moderate that uh, normal level right so have you done any programming course or you learn any programming languages earlier uh no ma'am uh, like uh, from, like on december i start i decided to, that i will uh, make my career in it field so i taken the course of from coding in jas in their c++ data structures and algorithm which is right now i which is which is going on right now uh that helped me a lot in like, uh, like clearing the examination it was like very easy for me to give the two coding tests okay great so that's what i wanted to uh, know actually sakit because uh, if you belong to any other branch and you are doing coding questions sometimes students get nervous at how i'm going to do that so guys here you can do the same thing if you decided that you want to switch to it sector you can opt for any courses from coding ninjas or gigs for gigs we have so many platforms right and even for gigs for gigs we have discount also if you are my subscriber you can use my code and get a discount also right so you can opt for any course and you can learn python c or data structure any language that you are more interested because that is very important you are going for it company so you should have basic idea about programming right so right, great right. so sakit uh, that is the reason uh, you able to crack coding questions and you got selected in the uh, examination right great great, great great so any tip you want to share with us that will be really helpful for me and my candidates as well who are preparing for uh, wipro company anything oh, you want to share yes ma'am like uh, first of all uh, you regularly uh, giving updates in your channel about the job vacancies that are uh, going on in india so as a, so if you want to make career in it field there are a lot of opportunities in the it field there are a lot of job opportunities so first of all you should be updated with the uh, like job profiles whatever the job profiles are coming secondly you should you should start you should start learning coding even not from coding in java or anything geeks for geeks is the best portal Uh, you can uh, literally go there and search and read the things there are a lot of topics and third uh, i want to share that start some basic aptitude as aptitude will help you uh, to mint, to build that logic so that it it will help you in coding also so yeah these are the three tips which i want to give Uh, definitely now all tips are very very helpful guys because if you are very good with aptitude now you will be able to crack so many companies because in all mnc companies we have first round that is the aptitude now so if you would be yes. able to crack aptitude then only you'll go for coding test right and for coding also as sakit told you you can join coding ninjas also and gigs for gigs is the best platform guys and i i as i told you we have discount we have coordination with them i want to help you out that's why if you can use my uh, code now i'll give you in the description box also all the links and codes from there if you purchase any course you will get instant discount okay just to help you people right so that you can do and you can prepare for aptitude as well and we have so many free resources as well we have so many videos on youtube also if you don't want to pay anything you can use uh, youtube as a resource and learn from there also we have so many youtube channels uh, those are giving you all details about the data structure courses programming languages they are teaching programming languages very nicely if you want you can talk to me in person i will give you the references of channels as well okay so guys this is going to be very helpful for the people you should use all the tips that sakit uh, sakit has shared with us So thank you so much, Sakit, that you shared all your tips with me. It's a great thing actually, and all the best for your career. I'm sure you'll be having a great career in uh, in Wipro company, right? Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you so much for coming on our channel, and guys, you also do share your experiences with us. If you are done with any interview with any good MNC company, we'll share as uh, Sakit did because we have to help each other, right? This is just to help right. you people. So please do help each other. Do share your experiences with me. I'm ready to help you all. If you want to do any mock practice or any queries if you are having reach to any off campus price you can connect me directly on topmed as well completely free and there you don't have to pay anything you just need to book your slot and you can uh, connect with me directly okay so we'll do uh, all i'll give all the links in the description box also thank you so much for watching this video till the end i hope this video will going to be helpful for you people thank you so much sakit